Hey, what's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Stephen Davidson here. In a shave video, I've got about 10 days worth of beard growth, so let's get this party started. I'm going to prep my face off camera with Cremo Cooling Shave Cream Refreshing Mint. This does not lather, but it does boost the lather of a shave soap, and it's really sleek. Eight bucks in Walmart. I've had it soaking, and I've got a new one coming. Not this specific, but a new brush coming. I'm going to go with my Phoenix Arsa Accoutrements Atomic Rocket 26mm Synthetic Knot. Been a minute since I used one on camera. I'm going to switch up a little bit. This is now classic shaving instead of just straight razors. I do it all, just about. Now, I'm going to go with the Rockwell 6C White Chrome Edition. Base plate number four. And in the razor, I've got one of my favorite blades to put in there. It is Rayleigh Persona Red. And back in the shave cave, the star of the party. It's been a minute since I've gotten it. I restocked it. I'm going to go with Katie's Bubbles Mile High Menthol. It's a tribute to Parasso Green with a touch of camphor added. This is a Jammin' G.I. James invention right here. And I'm going to finish this bad boy off with another favorite of mine. You can't go wrong with it. Osage by Club Man. The menthol off this is off the page. This is eye watering menthol here, but it feels good. All right, when I come back, I should be fully prepped and lathered up, so stand by. I will be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'm back. Yogurt, anyone? Gorgeous, slick lather, and the menthol is great. Just what the doctor ordered. I was going to wait to see if my other goodies came in today before shaving and then shave, but uh, they didn't come in, so I gotta wait till they show up, but I'm not gonna do what I did the last time and end up with like 15 days worth of beer growth. I can't stand it. So yours truly is gonna see what a Rockwell 6C can do against 10 day old beard. Base plate number four, Israeli Persona Red in there. Very nice. Very comfortable. Very, very, very nice first pass. Me right here. Now, the reason I decided to switch it up a little bit is I know people like to see some variety. And I kind of want to see some variety too. And I've got too many razors just sitting there not in use. So, I figure why not put them all, or at least my favorite ones, back into circulations. This is one of them. Another one is the Razor Rock version of the DE89. And then, of course, my Rockwell, which I'm using now. Then there's my Razor Rock Hawk, which is the Feather Artist Club blade. I'm disappointed that my Occam's razor doesn't work. I've got it too. 
but I have to bend the blade so bad to get it to work and to stay in place during the shave that it ruins the shave. So, I thought I'd bust out the Rockwell today. See how it does. I never really tested it against a heavy growth like this before. Very nice first pass. Very nice first pass. Rinse off a bit and run the leather for pass two. Definitely pretty patchy still, so they're definitely gonna need another there'll definitely probably be a three definitely be a three pass shave, I'm sure. Fantastic. Good old case bottles. I've got three of their soaps that just came in. This is one of them. The other one says Siberian Sunrise. Cat Carl Cranberry of the Whipped Cream Whipped Shave Cream variety. And this scents are incredible. The uh, Siberian Sunrise reminds me of a lot of Sterling's Lemon Chill. So of course, the Cape Cod Cream I think that would go extremely well with uh, with uh, Aqua Velva Classic Ice Blue Aftershave. Mud Pass. Sounds like sandpaper, don't it? <laughs> That's what more than likely would be the last shave on this blade, too. It's one and done. But I got enough blades in there to shave the Titanic if I wanted to. Let's rinse out the pass. Number three if I need it. I'm pretty sure I will. Yep.
Looks like I'm about off a of zit or two. Yeah, just a zit. As I bump. We got surgically removed. <laughs> But that, ladies and gentlemen, is a fantastic, wonderful shave. Oh, you ain't gonna get no better than that. That's gonna do it, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic. All right, I'm gonna shut her down and clean up, and when I come back, we'll recap and finish her off. So, stand by. I will be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'm back. Very nice, close, smooth, clean shave. A couple of bumps that I got mowed off right here, but other than that, you can't get no better than that. And I'm really close, too. All right, let's recap. I put my face off camera. I dried it off. I guess I didn't. With Cremo cooling. Shave cream, refreshing mint scent. You can get this at Walmart for eight bucks. I went with my Phoenix Arson Accoutrements Atomic Rocket 26 millimeter synthetic knot. I went with my Rockwell 6C white chrome. Base plate number four. And in there I had a one and done Israeli Persona Red Platinum. And the start of the party, it's been back in the shave cave. I forget to dry it off. And that would be Katie's Bubbles Mile High Menthol. It's their tribute to Parasso Green with a touch of camphor added. Very, very nice smoke. Very, very, very nice soap. I enjoy this. And we're going to finish it off with, give it a good shake here, Clubman's Osage Rub. Pinot Clubman's Osage Rub. This is a heavily tear-jerking menthol here. And once you, uh, once you put it on, it's great. But when you add water to it, it kicks into high gear. Fantastic, fantastic. What a great shave. Oh my. Almost no burn from the aftershave. Nice cooling effect. Now, let's add a little touch of cold water here. Oh, you ain't gonna get no better than that, ladies and gentlemen. Face now feels like a refrigerator. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys again real soon. Take care, and God bless. Later.